guys, it's Ron. Today, I will be doing conspiracy theories on Finding Nemo. And I have beef jerky right beside me, so I'm probably going to be eating that a lot. Okay, so let's get right into the video. We know you're excited about finding Dory, the sequel to Finding Nemo, but we, as we are, the highly anticipated sequel doesn't come out until June of 2016. And so to hold you over, we did some underwater crossed out digging and rounded up four fan theories that will make you go, wait, what? And watch the movies all over again. Are they absurd? Are they plausible? Who's to say? Prepare to have your mind blown. <coughs> Number one, Nemo doesn't exist. Oh, that's sad. Which may be the most popular fan theory of them all. Nemo is a figment of Marlin's imagination. In the beginning of the movie, a barracuda attacks Marlin's entire clownfish family, knocks out Mar. Marlin unconsciousness. When Marlin wakes up, he imagines that only one of the eggs survived the tragic event. What more, he names his son Nemo. Nemo. Which means no man or no one in Latin. We know. I don't really believe that one. Oh, and then there's like quizzes after everyone. Do you believe that Nemo exists? Definitely. Because they like say Nemo during the thing the whole time, so. <coughs> Number two, Dory suffers memory loss because she went, witnessed the death of her family when she was young. Well, this would explain a whole lot about her. Our favorite forgetful blue tang Reddit user. I can't say that name. I, I don't know how to say it. Thinks that Dory witnessed the massacre of her family when she was young, which left her mentally impaired. As her father was dying, he told her to just keep swimming and save her life. In an effort to forget the horrific event, Dory keeps on swimming, gets lost in the ocean, and ends up suffering from short-term memory loss. This also explains why Dory is so supportive and helpful to Marlin throughout his journey in finding Nemo. Dory suffer from memory loss. Yeah, but I don't think from this reason, so maybe. <laughs> Number three, finding Nemo is connected to Toy Story 3. That doesn't make sense. According to Slate, all of Pixar's films tell this secret history of a world where the little girl from Monsters, Inc. grows up to be the elderly witch from Brave. That means all Pixar characters live in the same universe, same like Disney. I added them. Crazy, right? And good luck getting out of that internet rabbit hole. This particular theory suggests that Finding Nemo takes place around the same time as Toy Story 3. The two Pixar films are connected because in Toy Story 3, Andy's sister Molly is reading a magazine with Darla Sherman from Finding Nemo on the cover, who has an age and looks the same. Remember, Darla is a niece of the dentist Philip Sherman and is known for killing pet fish by accident. Do Toy Story and Finding Nemo exist in the same universe? If it's like Disney, then definitely. Lances are definitely maybe no way. And the last so okay, that's the last one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.